Hey, Fanny. Hi, Lauren. Nice to meet you again. Fun that we all could be at this time. Yeah. So, I don't know if you heard, but I made some taco dip. We heard. I heard about that. Sounds good. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> so um, that's my foodition. Oh, yeah, a foodition. Oh, it's <laughs> thanks for no, thanks for asking. It's uh, a tradition that involves food. Okay, so my foodition is I'm invited to a potluck. I make my taco dip. So since this is a holiday episode, a lot of families mark special occasions with food. So I want to take a poll and see what food traditions amongst this potluck happen in everybody's family. So uh, I've got one. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, every Christmas, uh, for the last several Christmas, my girlfriend's been making a lasagna uh -huh. at my family's house. And it's amazing. And nice. We have it for Christmas because it's one dish. Yeah. Clean up. So yeah. what what kind of lasagna is it? Meat. Oh, it's a meat yeah. lasagna. Meat lasagna, red sauce. Oh, really, really, really rich and traditional, and she's from Italy, so. Oh, yeah, sign me up. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Uh, actually, well, it's actually, they're kind of similar, almost like the, not, the, okay, so it's like, it's grape leaves, uh -huh. and it's also the cabbage, so it's like, you, what they do is they, uh, they ground meat, mm -hmm. with, they, they cook it with rice, and then they wrap up the, uh, the grape leaves or the uh, cabbage. And but they do it separately. Yeah. And then they do it in a big dish, in like a big excuse me, pot, and they just they add water to it as it steams. Sometimes they don't even cook the rice with the with the ground beef. They just they let it cook in within. Like they cook the ground beef separately, and they mix it in with actually raw rice, like not cooked yet. And then it just it just it's all steamed. What culture is that? It's actually it's um it's Arabic. It's okay. Palestinian origin. I was gonna say that's yeah. similar to like how they cook cloth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the cabbage wise, like, right? Or no, or the rice wise and the, the meat. Yeah. yeah the rice but ours is very thin, rice. though. They're very thin. They're almost finger thin. So. Okay. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's in most of every single game. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. You should come on the show and show me how to make them. I'd love to. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Let's make a date. Make it happen. All right. <laughs> next. I'm being. Uh, I'm being. Nice talking to you. Great talking to you. What was that shoe color? Yeah. <laughs> Just take this back. Shut the dark. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. I'm Kaylin. Hey Kaylin. Oh, hey Kaylin. Nice to meet you. Oh. No, no, no. Shake. Oh, shake hands. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was your name? Jake. Okay, Jake. T. Renee. T. Renee. Nice to meet you. And Dana. Nice. Nice to see you, Dana. Nice. 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 I know Dana. Well. <laughs> we go way back. To the couch. All the, yes. <laughs> that sounds awful, but it's true. <laughs> it was a fantastic adventure. It was, it was really, it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Can't believe I wasn't invited. Oh, oh, you were invited rest. tonight to this holiday potluck. And we are talking on this episode all about food dishes. Mm. So tradition that's food centric. I have my little food dish, like I was saying, of my taco dip for a potluck. I want to know if any of your families have holiday food dishes. Maybe not even a specific holiday, but what food dishes? Just thinking about it, I want it. My mm -hmm. Aunt Beth's peanut butter bars. Ooh. Oh, you just had me a hello with peanut butter. <laughs> Tell me. They're, they're oaty and just have that perfect bladder of peanut butter and chocolate on the top. Okay. Huh. She sent it to me in the mail a while back, oh and it was the best as a care package. Uh -huh. And I said I was going to save some for my wife, and I didn't. Oh, no. so, <laughs> <laughs> and I was bad. But, um, I bet your aunt. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good aunt. Oh. Yeah. I, I, I have the recipe, in, and I'm, mm. I'm afraid to make it because I don't think it's going to be taste as good. Okay. Yeah. You're going to have to start practicing. Yeah. Because that's, 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 that's how food dishes get are maintained. Because it's passing on. Yeah. It's yeah. on. So you need to pick up the peanut butter mantle. Yeah. I'm like that too because my birthday is December 22nd. I'm on Christmas Day. Oh my god! Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. And for my birthday, every year my mother makes me cheesecake, Renee's cheesecake with cherries on top. And what I do is I get a big spoon uh -huh. and I dig in the middle and I just eat it until I'm sick. <laughs> so I don't ever get the recipe because I'm too sick and I know that it's an abuse of power. So therefore I can't make it yeah, I think so. again because right. then I would 
constantly eat it and constantly be sick. Yeah. It's a love-hate relationship. <laughs> but I know it's amazing. So much of that. And you are the food expert, so maybe you know. The reason that I love it is because it's the cheesecake, but it's still like the, it's not the solid cheesecake. It's more like a, like a pie. A custard. Yeah, the custard. That's what I love. Oh my god. Yes. That's what makes it so amazing. Mm -hmm. Plus the little cherries on top. Yeah. Cheese and cheese then cheese. eat it with a spoon. Mm -hmm. Just eat it with a spoon. Mm -hmm. Not don't worry about the slices. Yeah, Just eat it. You, you go all in, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking my language. And then I'm sick for two days after. Well, right. Right. You gotta go big or go home. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. What kind of crust is on it? Graham crust. Oh. Okay. Amazing. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I know that part. So, Miss Dana, food Yes. Yes. But since I started eating more vegetarian and vegan, I started doing my own food traditions. Mm -hmm. So, one of the things that I do now on special occasions is this really amazing vegetarian lasagna oh. with basil cashew cheese. Mm -hmm. That is out. It's so, I see the skepticism on your face. Where is it? Don't, don't mess with my cheese, Dana. Uh, oh. Don't take away my cheese. Oh, you would not even. I tell you, this sounds amazing. Lasagna to a whole nother level. So let me ask you, what yeah. do you use for your noodle? I use um, rice noodles. Okay. Okay. Just because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know if you're vegan, standard Italian wheat noodles, egg based. A lot of eggs. Yes. Yeah, a lot of eggs. So if you're vegan, you need an alternate noodle. Yeah, that's what makes it taste delicious. Mm. <laughs> but there are many fine options yeah. outside of them. And I don't, you know, I'm like, I'm. Oh yeah. Don't mess with my noodles. Another cheese. interesting yeah. option, um, if doing a, a vegan or vegetarian lasagna, is if you um, dehydrate um, thin slices of eggplant. Ah, uh, I've never tried that, but I have. I've actually it. made it. We're probably going to do an episode of the couch. Um, cooking with Kate. We're probably going to do an episode of Cooking with Kate. Like, you can probably come on that I time. I would love to. And I will make my um, quinoa and eggplant lasagna. I would love to. So, yeah, you replace the standards with that. But I tell you, I went over skeptics. Mm -hmm. this yeah. So, but you take oil and you um, bread the eggplant and then you bake it on a, um, a rack, mm -hmm. which is then on a baking sheet, dry it out and it makes like almost a cracker. Mm -hmm. But then with the sauce, it gives like the texture of a, a lasagna. It's going to be yummy. Yeah. I, I want to be there when that happens. That could, we could arrange that. No, that could happen. Thanks guys for no. sharing that with me. It sounds delicious. I think I'm going to make my peanut butter burst when I take it off. Practice. It's mm -hmm. Practice those and then show me. <laughs> Because you'll, you'll be the quality control on that. Okay. 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 <laughs> Deal. It's Deal. a date. All right. <laughs> so, so now I'm going to interrupt you guys. Hey. Nice to see you. I'm Caitlin. Hey, I'm Doyce. Doyce. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's, what's your name? Camille. Camille. She gets to him out. We were just talking about um, different ways to like entertain and prepare dishes and stuff like that. Funny you said dishes because I'm taking a poll of the party. Food dishes. What is that? Okay, I made up a word. It's your food traditions. Holiday themed. Okay. If, if possible. Holiday themed. So everyone's family has a tradition around the holidays. Most of them I would gamble on involve food. So. Hmm. Well, one of my family, um, what did you say, food dishes? Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, one of my family food dishes is definitely on like Christmas Eve, cooking like a whole meal. Like my mom would be up all night cooking the whole meal. Mm -hmm. So that was one of our food dishes and we'd have stuff like macaroni and cheese, turkey, greens, cornbread, all that kind of stuff. So that's one of our food dishes. Nice. One dish that is always at every family function, whether it's holidays or just a reunion, is scalloped potatoes. Where it's Ooh. just cut up potatoes with cheese and scallops, and it's amazing. Scallops the fish? The onion. Oh, scallions. Scallions. Sca I was going to say, scallops? <laughs> I might steal that idea, because <laughs> that sounds interesting yeah. too. So scallion potatoes. Yes. I don't know why it's called scalloped potatoes. But that's what it's called. Oh, okay. But scallion it, potatoes sounds good too. Oh, yeah. So is it hot or cold? Hot. Okay. So it's melted cheese 
Ooh. hot potatoes. Oh my god. A bunch of scallions on top. Oh. Delicious. And of course you have like garlic in there. Okay. Maybe a little bit of cream. It's really good. Are the potatoes like sliced, mashed? How are they? Sliced. Okay. So it's like a, a gratin. Yes. That is the fancy way. But I'm white it all trash. Does, all right? <laughs> we call it <laughs> skeleton. I love it. Oh. <laughs> That sounds amazing. Yeah. I might want to try my hand with some scaled potatoes. Are you going to make those? I can make them. All right. Why not? Yeah. I'll try my hands at it. Definitely. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's do it. I'm excited to try your dip. I know. It should be almost done. I smell it. I really do. Oh Once it gets brown and bubbly, we're in business. <laughs> Usually brown and bubbly sounds like it's not good, but food-wise, it's good. I like brown and bubbly. I'm brown and bubbly. Okay. Brown and bubbly. Oh. 